Good morning, Gators. Welcome back to another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Isaiah. And I'm Kennedy. Now for a quick rundown of what's going on on today's sports. Last Friday, our girls soccer team went to Jacksonville for the semifinals. After a great effort, they suffered a 0-2 loss but played with a de determination. Here's a quick recap on the team throughout this season. This season was one for the ages for our Lady Gators. They fought through the ups and downs and ended up with a record of 16 six and one and our very own coach vicky king had the field renamed in her honor their determination and hard work eventually paid off as they won a district title and a regional championship they made it all the way to the state final four where they traveled to jacksonville to face ponte verde high school unfortunately the lady gators lost in a hard-fought game two to nothing no matter what this is one season that will go down in land lakes high school history and the future is definitely bright for our lady gators there was a boys tennis match versus Wiregrass today at 4 p.m. and a girls tennis match at Wiregrass at 4 p.m. Today there is a lacrosse game at Wesley Chapel at 5 p.m. and a softball game at River Ridge at 6 p.m. Also, there is a baseball game at CHS at 7 p.m. and the boys basketball regional semifinal is at 7 p.m. at Jones High School. There is also a JV baseball game at Cypress at 6 p.m. Come out and support our Gators. Wow, I can't believe the junior and senior prom will be on Saturday, April 11th, 2020. There's less than three months away. Don't forget to help the residents of Pasco County by bringing in the items for a food drive this week. Congratulations to Makai for being nominated for Player of the Year and to Emmeline Dunn for her win at the Pasco State Fair for the Showman and Steer Competition. Juniors, on February 27th, we will be holding a parent university meeting from 6 to 7 p.m to discuss important information about college and career timelines for the second semester in this summer. The finals coming up, here's a segment on some study tips. What's up Gators, fourth quarter is coming up so you know what that means, testing time. Here's a few tips on how to stay focused and study in the most efficient way possible to make sure you pass those finals. Tip number one, move around. When it comes to study places, research shows verity is key. A change of scenery can prompt the brain to form new associations with the same material so it becomes a stronger memory. Tip number two, space it out. Don't try to binge and purge everything in one sitting. A new learning technique shows that breaking up information into small chunks and reviewing it consistently over a long period of time is more effective. Tip number three, write it out. Writing anything down makes us remember it better. Research suggests that writing seems to act as a mini rehearsal for the brain. So start recopying all your notes onto a new sheet of paper. Tip number four, quiz yourself. Self-testing or taking practice tests over to be tested materials is deemed the most effective way to learn and the best use of your brain cells. And the harder it is to remember in practice, the more likely we will remember in the future. And tip number five, take a break. Periodically schedule breaks for short amount of times in between your studying. This can boost productivity and improve the ability to focus on a single task. Some important study websites you can use are Khan Academy, College Board for AP Classes, Quizlet, and Kahoot. Now back to our anchors. One, two. Have a great day, Gators. Jesus Christ. <laughs>